Alrighty, well, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Uh, well, time once again for my pseudo cast, and this time around on another video. But, um, this was actually something that I just looked for at the very last minute. Um, so I don't, I don't know how well this is gonna go. Um, I might end up having to switch it because at least one of these videos that I was looking for yesterday, like a few seconds, is all of a sudden. You know, like, like, car, like, uh, street racing bullshit, you know, or street, ra street racing music, you know, just noisy techno crap in a people watching video. I mean, it's pretty, pretty damn bad. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, like I said, I haven't, this, I had just put this on, so I don't know how well it's gonna go. But I did this yesterday. I thought it was kind of a cool idea, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it today. Raise your hand. So is this chubby guy with a backpack? Is he directing traffic or? Oh, and this is traffic in Manhattan, by the way. I can only imagine this be a population is probably like one million or something like that, so you can only imagine how packed this place is. Okay, so they switch it. Uh, kind of a bad camera angle here. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it when they, I don't like this view. Like when they're, I said this yesterday too. It's like when they're, it's like they're standing right in the middle of the sidewalk. It's like you can have all these people like forcing people to walk around them and stuff. Yeah, it, the scenery kind of changes too often here, too. Like, buddy, pick a location and stay there. And to make matters worse, I might actually be stuck with this. Alright, um, I guess if anything, I'll go ahead and turn it down, uh, turn it down a little bit. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, but, but yeah, like I, like I said yesterday, this was, this was one of my favorite pastimes. Just, um, uh, get, buying something, for, buying something at a restaurant like Subway and, or Subway or McDonald's or something, and then just... Pulling up to the end of the parking lot and just sitting back and watching all the people and cars go by. So I'm guessing this fat guy here, he's a crossing guard or something. Hi! <laughs> like. So, but yeah, like like I said, I this is just, it was one of those things I really enjoyed doing. But, uh, only so far... As, uh, or only as long as nobody else like parks like right next to me wanting to do the same thing. That pisses me off right there. It's very disrespectful. It's a personal space violation. Yeah, I'm guessing this guy's a crossing guard. Okay, so now he's dropped his arm and they all start walking. Oh, and, um, I think I said this yesterday, too, but, uh, I uploaded a video. Um, I did an arcade run. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 let me interrupt. Um, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Orange Pineapple flavor. So, get ready for some pops. Yeah, um, yesterday I uploaded a bit, uploaded a, a Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang arcade run. For those that don't know, Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang is a, is a retro kung fu themed 2D fighter game. But, um, I did a, I did an arcade run on, um, on Lotus Palm. But, um, after I spent most of the evening uploading it, I noticed that there was a big flaw in it. 
like the the right side and the lower part of the screen were missing. Uh, come to find out later that for some reason the uh, the recording software I use OBS it decided to enlarge the capture screen for some reason. So so there went about uh, eight gigabytes of uh, video right there, <laughs> gone. I had to delete it all and start over. I had to do another arcade run, uh, but end up screwing that up because I got about halfway through the arcade mode, and I just noticed that the. Um, let me double check something here before I continue. Okay, it is working. But I noticed the uh, the black mouse pointer here. Throughout all this time, for about half of arcade mode, was right about there. So, it was very much in the way, and uh, it, was, it, it really annoyed me when I do this. Um, back when I was uh, streaming Final Fantasy XIV, I would take uh, screenshots of really scenic stuff, really awesome looking stuff, and uh, I would make the mistake, I would uh, totally forget to move this mouse pointer over out of the way. So, I would end up taking that picture with, this, uh, with a pointer like right here. Forcing me to have to delete that yeah. screenshot. So, but anyway, this is what, um, so on my second attempt at, um, at, uh, recording this video, I had a pointer right there, so, so much for that. So I had to delete that one too, but three times the charm this time. I actually, uh, made a third attempt to do an arcade mode run, and this time it worked. So finally, after all freaking night, I finally got the damn video uploaded. So, uh, but I, I still think this guy here, he's switching up, uh, he's switching uh, images too often, or switching uh, camera views or locations or whatever. Yeah, it, it's too often. It's like just sit still for a while, man. Oh, and also, I saw um, I saw a documentary about um, about music sharing, like Napster. I thought that would be pretty interesting. Or as uh, luckily, or um, I guess um, uh, I guess the uh, music industry in their uh, in their infinite stupidity, they were um, uh, they were suing people. Yeah, they were uh, they were suing people that probably make maybe twenty twenty five grand a year. They like working a, like work at a mill's fleet farm or something, or they're like a cashier at Subway or whatever. They're um these big uh, music companies were suing them for uh, music sharing, like using Napster, suing them for like six or seven figures. You know, like like one was like two hundred twenty-two thousand dollars to like to a girl that probably works as a cashier at a Dollar General. Like how, like, how stupid and ignorant do you have to be to do something like that? I mean, that, I mean that's, that's like trying to extract blood from a stone. And, um, but, uh, but what, what would end up happening is that, uh, these people that were being sued would just simply file bankruptcy. And now the big music companies don't get anything. If anything, they probably lost money with uh, from all the court fees and whatnot. But um, but uh, I ultimately I managed to avoid all that because back around Napster, like back in the I think the late '90s, I was listening to CDs and cassettes, and I paid for every single one of them. I didn't I didn't download anything for free. At least not until probably the mid to late 2000s after all of this pretty much blew over and even then I think I had a I think I I think I used a subscription service to I want to say Yahoo Music so I mean uh, I pretty so but like I said I pretty much avoided all that I didn't do any uh, file sharing or anything because uh, back in the 90s I didn't even have internet so like I said, I managed to avoid all that. I guess I was a lucky guy, and despite the fact that I was stocking groceries in a grocery store, I didn't have some 
big wig record record executive try to sue me for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars or something like that like christ sakes man i made six dollars and fifty cents an hour like do you really expect do you really think that you're gonna get that kind of money out of me but uh other than that um when um uh, when metallica and Lars ulrich made this big stink about uh big stink about napster like cutting into their profits or whatever um i didn't i didn't really i think i i think i chalked it up to greed but looking back on it now i was i wasn't i wasn't completely correct i think it was just uh i think they were just addicted to wealth just you know i mean after metallica you know going from going from barely scraping by barely scraping by doing tours you know basically living in a van and whatnot and then all of a sudden becoming popular and like making buku bucks making lots of money and then all of a sudden Napster coming along i think um i think the resentment kind of kicked in like oh no uh, you ain't touching my dividends no uh, 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 uh. Oh, fuck you, Napster. Sue Napster. Sue Napster. That kind of thing. You know, the same, pretty much the same thing any other addicted junkie's gonna do. You try to take away their heroin. Hey, fuck you, man. Give me that back. No, you, you take it, man. I'll just go get it. I'll just go get another, man. Fuck you. You know that kind of thing. I, so I'm. So looking back, I think um, Metallica pretty much had the same reaction. Like um, you know, just you know, just you know, take it away and addicts source of addiction, you know, take it away from them, yeah, they're going to get a little pissed off about it, you know, you're going to be kind of, kind of fearful and all that. But, you know, despite the constant image switching, I'm, I'm actually liking this. Yeah, um, he's showing all kinds of views, but, I don't know, I'm, overall, though, I still, I would still much rather just see the simple street view. You know, like from a, like from like inside of a building or something, inside of a building looking out into the street. Yeah, I, I'm, now that I think about it, we're, this is almost creepazoid territory right here. And if this uh, this cast goes over long, like a yeah, this is like a 16-minute video. If it does go over long, and I think it's going to, I'll just go ahead and loop it and start over. But um, I guess um, another quite another thing on that too is uh, um, up until up until probably recently, whenever I streamed, I. Uh, I usually play vinyl records, but uh, and the, the question has been asked before: um, What would I do if somebody would come after me for copyright? Um, probably nothing. I mean, I mean, first off, I'm low-hanging fruit, and kind of the same thing I said about 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 uh, Napster in the '90s. I was um, I was listening to CDs and cassettes back then. I paid for all my music, so this this would have um, this would have meant nothing to me. Um, kind of the same thing here. I mean, I I paid for all my vinyl records. There really isn't a whole lot that they can do. Like I said, I'm low hanging fruit. Um, the most that would happen is uh, Twitch would probably um, Twitch's uh, detection software would probably detect some of my music, and they have. They've done this before. In fact, they've uh, they've muted huge chunks of my uh, they've muted huge chunks of my stream for copyrighted music. But uh, ultimately, that's pretty much all they can do. I mean, again, I'm again, I paid for all my vinyl with my own money. Now, granted, some of them I paid as low as ninety nine cents at a thrift store, but still, I mean, it's not like I'm a, uh, it's not like I'm using Spotify or it's not like I'm using a streaming service or anything like that. Um, I mostly did that in the, uh, in the, from the mid 2000s 
to probably the, the late 2010s. I was, um, I used Yahoo Music. I used, um, Amazon Prime. But, uh, these days, I hardly, I hardly listen to them at all. Seldom, if ever. Again, most of my listening now is, uh, vinyl records. Duh, that's so cute. Look at the little numbers. Okay. All right. All right, you two, you might want to get a room. This is, we're kind of entering Creep City here. I'm watching you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, um... Yeah, I... This is... This is this is a good, yet a bad video. This is, I mean, you're getting an almost too intimate view. I think that's probably the word I was looking for a while back. That's why I like the... That's why I like the, the views from... That's why I like I kind of like the view from this. You're kind of viewing the people in the cars at a distance, and not whoop, right up on them. Because yeah, sorry to sound like a broken record, but you're you're pretty damn creepy at that point. And, uh, yesterday I got lucky. My, uh, internet shut down. Or, there was an internet outage. But luckily, it only lasted like an hour, hour and a half. Alright, let me... But yeah, luckily, it only lasted like an hour, hour and a half. And it was back up and running before, I'd, before uh, 3.30 p.m. when I normally start my stream. So, sometimes, like, sometimes you get lucky. I've had times where, um, uh, my internet would shut down in the afternoon... And it wouldn't be back up until like late evening. So. So there goes that day. Um, but. But otherwise, since I'm at, uh, technically I'm at 17 minutes. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and say close enough. Because, uh, I think I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say today. So. But, but hey, um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And again, I'm on vacation this week, so I should be able to do an, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. But until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye now.